More than half of Americans are addicted to their smartphones. And since I'm part of Gen Z, I never got to fully experience a social life without people wanting to constantly distract themselves with TikTok, celebrity drama, or some random sh that doesn't matter when you have a genuine conversation with the human right next to you. So today I'm gonna test the power of human connection by seeing if I will be able to go into strangers' houses and have dinner with them tonight. Now I know what most of y'all are thinking. Nobody's gonna let me into their home because I'm my fault, my arm's a little itchy. Because I'm asking during times where it's extremely risky to trust strangers, let alone into your own house. But enough of the talking, let's go out and let's meet some strangers. You're 20? Yeah. Oh, wow, damn, how does that feel to be 20? It's been all right, just been staying busy, school, you know? Definitely a lot more social media based. Everybody's trying to live life, but kinda with the idea that they're being looked at, I feel, which is okay because some cases people are just sharing their experiences like coming out here, you know, having a good day, wanting to show other people that. But in some cases, it's like they're almost only doing it for that experience. And do you feel like we should have like genuine conversations with one another? Yeah. You're just a stranger, you know, just saying like hello to him. Do you get that nowadays? Not that much. You can tell it's very, everybody's very closed off, kind of just doing their own thing, which is okay. But, but I do kind of miss like that whole idea where you, where you see back then a lot of people see each other on the street. You know, not be afraid to say, how's your day going? Start up a little mini conversation. So why do you think there is that disconnect now? Uh, I just think there could be so much divide and opinions and stuff like that where people just don't know if they're gonna like the person that they're seeing. So they don't know, if, like, would I really want to start a conversation with this person? Is this person and I gonna have the same ideals? Could we get along? So like you that. would say, like, a lot of people, like, our age, were kind of too much into our heads instead of just yeah. saying, like, hello and just start a yeah, conversation. Yeah, just, like, making okay. new friends. Where are you from? from South Africa. How would you say like the social life is in South Africa? Uh, would you say people are more social, like they'll come up to you, want to start a conversation? Is it a bit more reserved? Uh, no, South Africans are really sociable people. They're very welcoming people. I would say that I find them more sociable than a lot of people I've met around here. And what would make you like think that people are kind of more reserved than, than how it is in South Africa? I think people stick to their own groups, maybe. They don't necessarily want to speak to strangers. I I'm not sure. I'm just giving you my opinion about um, general socializing. I find South Africans very social. Would you ever be open having dinner with a complete stranger? A complete stranger? Probably not. It'd be, that'd, be, that'd be a little scary because you don't know. You can't trust, you know? So say me and him came to your door, right? And we knocked. We're like, we're new here, and we're just wondering if we could like share dinner with y'all tonight. Would you let us in? I don't know if i do that because, again, it's like if it's a complete stranger, maybe plan something later on, but I don't know about inviting to my own house. You never know. Somebody can be nice one moment, second you let them in, they can be a completely different person. That, that's definitely a little scary. That's where we're going to be on the mission today. Do you think I'm going to be able to find somebody, a complete stranger, to have dinner with tonight? Um, possibly, you're young. Go up to their house, though. To their house. In South Africa, do you think that would be allowed? Someone come no, to your house, no. they'll be like, come on, let's just, no. let's just have over for dinner. No, it wouldn't happen in South Africa, no. So it's just a thing in general, we don't want to trust anybody. No. Okay. <laughs> See, now, now, I, I'm going to be able to do it, well, we and you're going to have to watch the video. Okay. We just want to bring back a connection between yeah. people, you know what yeah. I'm saying? We yeah. see so much on the news about not trusting, but yeah. there's still people out here that we still should be able to trust and have like a genuine connection with people, you know what I'm yeah. saying? We feel like there's been a disconnect out here as well. Like people don't talk as much anymore. They don't want to introduce themselves. Since you're from somewhere else agreeing with us, yes. that just was perfect for the video. Confirms yeah, your, your so feelings. Thank you for your time, man. Good luck. So luck is exactly what I need. After all the interviews I did, not one person said they would let a stranger inside their home to eat dinner with them. And with the odds against me, I was questioning if this video would still even be possible to make. I made it out to the nearest neighborhood to start this risky adventure. And as I turned the corner and I was about to film my intro, a car pulled up next to me. And this young mother was asking for my Instagram. I then saw this as a chance to ask my burning question. So I asked her, can I come over and join you for dinner? And she actually said yes. Yeah. And that fast, I was able to find a stranger to have dinner with tonight. She took my number down and she left to cook our dinner. Honestly, I was shocked. And just like this bitch, I ain't know what just happened. Since she's cooking dinner, I decided to grab some dessert before I finally made it to her house. I'm sorry, I would have cleaned if I would have known you guys were going to come. Oh, no, it's all, it's all good. Like, I literally hurried up and just made the food and shit, that's why. So, honestly, you do this often, though? You just, <laughs> no, what you the just, hell? You just let it? <laughs> 
And how'd you see us? Um, I literally seen you on the side recording, and I was like, oh, he's recording one of these videos. <laughs> well, you're in the video like, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, I don't think he's seen me. Let me turn around. I pulled over. I was like, hmm, let's see what they're doing. <laughs> Yeah, that's that was crazy. Good. The crazy thing is, they're all gonna probably think that's staged. That's all fake. 100%. <laughs> Everything I do is, it, it's just genuine. Bro. It just happens. Like I can't fake this. Here you go. Oh, okay. Cameraman gotta get his plate. Oh no, he actually, he actually can't eat. What? He can't. I can't. It's not part of the job. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, you'll eat today. Oh no, no, no! Like, like seriously, bro, you can't eat. Just watch me. Just watch me eat. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and you got some, you got some hot, hot sauce. sauce. Oh. You hey. You have to add it. Mm -hmm. you have to. Yup. Uh, you could sit right there if you want. And oh, sit right there. see, yeah. you do a YouTube channel? Um, I wanted to start actually, but everybody keeps telling me to start my Twitch first because I like game. So what games? Well, um, I like I'm not a gamer though, so I probably won't know. I play four. I play Rainbow. What I the? Play... No, you don't. What's those Prime bottles right there? Those Primes? <laughs> yeah, they're actually nasty. You though. can't say that. You need to get them to sponsor you on your Twitch. Not for real. So what? What do you think about Prime? Um, honestly, it's gross. <laughs> we made it to Julie's house. This is her right here, everybody. And she actually just cooked us a lovely meal right now. And this is the man behind the camera, Michael, right here. You guys never seen him, I don't think. We just go out and enjoy this food. Spend some time together, like That's a family. That's so crazy. Like, yeah. like, like, this is, like, we literally just met, like. Mm -hmm. What, an hour ago? Yeah. This, this is how they yeah. look like in the 60s. They meet each other in person yeah. and then like, link up right after. Do after people it. approach you a lot, Julie? But no, like genuine like connections. Yeah. Like, What's your ethnicity? I'm Samoan. You're Samoan. Samoan. I'm Samoan. Damn. Okay. Samoan so. and Italian. Oh, and then I have like a little bit of Indian in me. So y'all just all over the damn globe. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? I don't know how the hell that happened. I just moved back from Utah, so. What? And before Utah, let me guess, you was down south. You in said Texas. Which one was your favorite out of? Mm, I would say Houston. It's the best out here, right? Of course. The weather, I would say. The culture even though we don't have culture in Cali. But I mean like, not the culture, I would say mm -hmm. um, the people. Like and how everybody acts towards people, like one another, or like how, um, yeah, just, just how we met. What do you do out here, like for fun? Go to the beach. So, the beach, what else? Um, my family and friends are here. Mm -hmm. So like that's, I really love that. They're accessible like whenever. Did you guys watch the game? Which game are you talking about? The Raiders versus the Niners. Oh, I don't watch football. I don't watch football. Do you watch football? No. Oh, thank God. I mean, I watch the score, yeah. I fuck with the Niners, but like... Wait, hold on. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> no, but you said the 49ers? Mm -hmm. Why? I'm a Niners fan. Uh, my dad and my grandpa. Mm. That's a good reason. It's just a legacy. Nah, yes. nah, nah. You can't be out here and say the 49ers. Now. <laughs> Even though I don't watch, you can't Bay say that. You can't, you can't. Cali. <laughs> That's not, no, that's no. totally different. I just got Joe Montana's um, jersey. That's you right there? Yeah. <laughs> Is that two-tone? Yeah. Oh, that's lit. That's his it's gold. It's like half gold, half red. It would look better if you had a Rams jersey on. Mm, I think, I think, yeah, blue, blue is her the color. The blue, yeah, blue, right? Blue the blue is, is her color. color. I think that's fly. So, Let's we're all going to have to hop online. Oh, yeah, we're going to hop yeah. online. You play on PlayStation? Yeah. PS5? No, 4, but four. Yeah. I got a 4, too. Don't worry. I got a 4, too. Oh, we all got 4. See, look at that. Yeah, yeah, we all got 4s yeah, yeah. anyway. Yeah. We try, if we're trying to run something, I'll come back on. Yeah. Come back on. I want to start the stream, too, though. I'm out of retirement. Oh, my God. Can I smoke? I'm sorry. Yeah, you're cool. Okay. You do whatever you want. That's your house. Your I don't house. like when people smoke no. cigarettes around me. Yeah, that's cigarettes. That's True. gross. That's, that's, that's Wait, gross. Let me put my pack away. <laughs> do you play Warzone? I don't know what that is. What game are you like the best at? Like which one could you carry me in? I need to get carried, I ain't gonna mm. hold you. That's a good question. Any of the cards, I fuck with all of them. Damn. Damn. Are you that good? Yeah. yeah. I, I'm okay. I'm not OP or anything. You feel me? Like, OP? That's what they always yeah. say. What is OP? OP? What is that? OP? He doesn't even know the lingo. No, yes. Have you ever played Ark? What is that? What is that? <laughs> um, it's basically like a dinosaur game. It's, oh. It's like a survival open map game. Nerd. Yes. <laughs> or like know. Overwatch. 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 It's like a PC game. Yeah, I know. But it's from console. And while they continue talking about games I never even heard of, I wanted to play a game I knew everything about. Oh, do you know the game Charades? Uh, the heads up thing? Yeah. You want to play it? Sure. All right. It was we... just too much for everybody else. What we got? Cause uh, we're gonna no, do he's lying. we're gonna do the Black History. We're gonna do the, wait, what is it? Come on! Black History, bro. Stop lying. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. What is it? Okay, so you know, like something like a trigger, but uh. Yeah. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what's the next? Pass, one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You know how we did like. 
people. It, okay, it's a person. Uh huh. Um, and it's two names: first name, last name, right? Okay. And two then, words. Two words. And then, uh, like you know how everybody was going through like the pandemic or whatever, yeah. and like we had to board up everything for mm-hmm. this person. Yes. George Floyd. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Black history. On yes, sir. Okay. Okay. You got turn. this. I got this. Uh, back of the bus. Right. It's two, two words. Back of the, back bus, of the bus. But no longer in the back of the bus. We in the front now. What did I tell you? Most apart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's actually. Yeah. Yo, what version of this you got? It was because like, the first. <laughs> what was the first, first one? Word was not it. That was not no. it. That? Yeah, yes, bro. bro. You gonna have to crop that up. The first. We're gonna act that out. Just point at me. Bye. <laughs> oh my god. So now you just want to do Twitch and gaming and all that? Yeah. I'm, no, like in real life things. No, no, no. I wanted to start my YouTube, but I feel like all my followers want me to start my Twitch. You gotta start so in like, real life like, too, though. Like bold? you just met somebody. Like this is yeah. destined right now. I got you. You guys need a girl in your squad. Like what? Dang, we, look at this. We got a new friendship going on right here. Yeah. What you guys got planned? What you? Do? This was it, and I'm really surprised that it happened. Two minutes <laughs> when we stepped out the car. I was driving, okay, so like, you know how you guys were on this side of the street? Yeah. So I seen you guys on this side, and then like, I don't know if you guys just hopped out the car or what, but like, I seen you guys right there recording, and I passed by, and then I just did like a little donut, <laughs> came back, and you guys were on the other side of the street, so I was like, oh shit, okay. But yeah, Bro. I was like, wait, let me get an Instagram, I want to see how the video turns out, because I like watching videos where I can see that I have been there, or whatever, yeah. I know where that's You definitely at, you been know? there. Did you picture your day going like this? No, I did not. I was like, I'll be okay, I'll be okay, I wonder what you plans on doing today because I never asked him. And then I got in the car and you said what you were going to do and I was just like, okay, if we can do it, let's do it. But I don't think. And then I... You know. Look where we're at. I can tell she's going to be like some type of artist when she gets older. She's going to do something creative. I, I do. I already draw. Do you like arts and crafts? Oh wait, you don't even... You know what that is? I mean, you did just go to school. Did you do anything there? Oh, that's cool. I played Play-Doh. What else did you do besides Play-Doh? <laughs> I played also with toys. And you play with toys. Yeah, my teacher let me. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's a J, K, L, M, B. W, S, Y, Z. Yeah! There you go. My teacher. You don't need the teacher for that. <laughs> Did you make any friends today? Yes. No, no boys though, right? No. She was telling me there was this boy following her and her friends. No! He was screaming at us and then... He was like yelling at you? He was yelling at the girls and me. Did you tell the teacher? Yes. And then my friend said, Hey, I got the key! I got the key! <laughs> the key? Yes! Key to what? Like a 10 key. A uh, what? So we were 0 for 3 with the desserts, everybody. She didn't like the cake. She didn't like the cookies. And she doesn't like really ice cream. Picky. And she, what did she say in the beginning? Play the clip. Play the yeah, clip. Yeah. It, doesn't it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I originally thought you were going to give vanilla. You said you were going to give vanilla. See, oh. I was. That's why I said it doesn't matter because I was like, vanilla. No, no, no. I was like, I was like, I know they're going to just want vanilla. But then he was like, dude, do strawberry. I'm about to head out. Oh, you can't get it. Oh. Oh, he's bullying you. Get him, dude. You got this, you got this. Yes, we? Yeah, we got As we walked out the door, I thought to myself, moments like this goes to show maybe if we all became open to meeting new people in our own way, we could make the world feel a little less lonely. And for the ones feeling lonely out there, or they get in their head too much about starting a conversation with somebody, <laughs> simply introduce yourself, and you might make a new friend for life. Bye.